Hello everyone, welcome to Techie Pocket. Today I'll be showing you guys how I fixed up this free Dell Optiplex GX620. First of all, when I got this PC into my house, I seen how much dust was built up on the outside. It looks as if this computer has never been cleaned since it was bought. And that makes me think worse about the inside of this chassis. So I opened up the inside to find the perfect chassis for a broken PC. So I decided to go outside and scrub it all off with a hand broom. Of course, this wasn't the best I could do, but I don't have any sort of blower right now, so I decided it was good enough. Next, I found the PC would not start up. This CPU happens to be an Intel Pentium D940 running at 3.2 GHz. That was lucky because I happen to have an Intel Pentium D lying around that's doing nothing. So I put that inside and found that the new one is running at 3.4 GHz, and that's a good enough upgrade. Next, I washed off the dust off the CPU heatsink and brushed the dust off the CPU fan. Now I powered on the machine and it posted fine. I entered into the BIOS and everything seemed to be working. The old Windows XP Pro OS on this SATA 2 hard drive was a little broken. I mean, if you call that a little broken. When I tried to boot it, all I got was a BSOD. So I downloaded a fresh copy of Windows 10 Home and installed it using my USB flash drive. After installation, I set the animations to performance optimized so it could run faster. It did help uh, load and boot up and shut down the PC and open programs a lot better. Now this PC is running really good. There's just one more thing we can do to fix it up, and that is the RAM. Currently, it only has one gigabyte of RAM, and I happen to have some DDR2 sticks, which is exactly what this thing uses, so let me fill it up. I found a two gigabyte DDR2 stick, but for some odd reason, it would not work, and it's like $17 to get four gigabytes, so I might not bother with that right now. So now that that's out of the way, at least, I noticed the HDD was running a little slow and disconnecting at times. So let's open it up one more time to find more dust. So I cleaned off the dust off the HDD and of course cleaned the connectors, and now it runs fine again. This is a good budget PC and I hope to make some more videos on it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos. If you do not, then well, that's fine also. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, don't forget, this is a series, and there will be more videos on this Optiplex, like, uh, what can I do with it? Or, what are the temps and, you know, boot up times. Anyways, bye guys.